today we will learn how to find mean of class 10th in class 10th there are three ways first is simple method second is assumed method and third is step deviation so i will show you all the three methods first first i will show you how to find mean from the simple method so for the simple method number of mangoes i am taking ci class interval class interval and second frequency number of box we will take it frequency so i am taking fi so class interval is 50 to 52 53 to 55 60 to 70 58 59 to 61 and 61 to 60 62 to 64 and frequencies it is 15 110 135 115 and 25 for the simple method the formula is mean is equals to summation of fi xi upon summation of fi this is the formula for the simple method so what is xi xi how can we find xi xi is equals to upper limit minus lower plus lower limit upon 2 so 52 plus 50 is equals to 102 and 102 will be divided by 2 we will get 51 55 we will get 54 57 and for the this 60 and for the we will get 63 so we have got the fi xi so what we have to summation of fi and xi so we'll make one more column for fi xi now we have to multiply so i have multiplied xi and fi so we have got this now what we have to do summation of fi and xi so we have to plus we have to sum all all the fi and fi xi so we have to add summation of fi is equals to and summation of fi x we are getting 400 and for this we are getting 22875 so now now we will put in the formula what we have get that mean is equals to 22875 divided by 400 so we will get 57.1 so we have got the mean from the simple method now what we have to do we have to find up the mean from the assumed mean method so the next method is assumed mean method we have to find assumed mean by the formula of x dash is equals to a plus summation of fi di upon summation of fi here we have got two more variables first is a and di a is assumed mean the name of the method is assumed mean means we have to assume the mean first so here we can see there are five uh, uh, class interval so the middle one is 57 so we can assume that it must around it there would be a uh, mean but what if if there is a even number of class interval you don't have to worry what you need to do is there will be two common there will be two middle uh, middle items so you can take either the above one or either the lower one i would prefer go with the lower one so you can do with any way either you can take the upper one or the lower one but in in this case we have the odd class interval so it is easy for us so and f uh, fi is there di what is di 
डी आई डी आई इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स आई माइनस माइनस एज्यूम मीन ओके दिस इज डी आई फिफ्टी वन माइनस फिफ्टी सेवन इज माइनस सिक्स फिफ्टी सेवन माइनस माइनस थ्री ये इट विल बी जीरो देन थ्री देन सेवन सो वी हैव गॉट नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड एफ आई डी आई सो एफ आई डी आई नाउ वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई एफ आई इंटू डी आई फिफ्टीन सिक्स आर नाइन्टी माइनस नाइन्टी एंड जीरो थ्री सो थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी इन माइनस बी जीरो एंड थ्री फोर्टी फाइव एंड is one seventy five sum of so summation of f i d i and summation of f i so summation of f i summation of f i four hundred and for this one we have to it will come hundred so we have got so so a is fifty seven fifty seven plus f d i f d i is coming Hundred and F I is four hundred, so it will come zero point two five. So fifty seven, fifty five seven point two five. This is assume mean method. So this was the assume mean method. Now the third method is step deviation method that I will show you. And one thing you need to keep in your mind that the method may change, but the answer it does not change. The mean will always be the uh, same, whether it will be a, a simple method, a assumed mean method, or a step deviation method. The mean will never change. If you have any query, you can ask me in the comment box. So I will first show you the formula of the step deviation method that x dash is equals to a plus sigma f i u i upon sigma f i into h. Here one more variable is added, which is u i. u i is the modified version of x i. Just I will show you how. And h is the h is the size of the class interval. So we will find the u i. So I need to look from, from. So what is u i? U i is nothing but u i is equals to just di di upon h at is h is the the difference between the cross interval 52 minus 50 is 2 so h is equals to 2 the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit is known as the h so di divided by divided by di divided by 2 is minus 3 1.5 plus 1.5 and plus 3.5. So, what we have got? So now we have to find the F I U I. So U I. So where is F I? F I 15 3 ja minus 45 under it. So one sixty five and one thirty five into zero, it will be zero. And one hundred fifteen, one hundred seventy two point five, and twenty five into three point five, eighty seven point five. So we need to find the summation of fi ui. It will come fifty. So now we can put in the formula. That x dash is equals to a plus summation of f i u i upon summation of f i. So what was assumed? Fifty seven plus sigma f i u i is fifty upon that is four hundred. So fifty seven point one two. So fifty-seven point one. So 
so you can see the mean is always same whether it be the formula of the simple method assume method or the step deviation i have showed you all the three methods in class 10th it generally asks the the, the mean Sometimes it gives the uh, uh, the method as well, the average mean method, step deviation method, or simple method. So you need to learn all the three methods in the board. So this was it. It is nothing difficult. I hope you have understand all the three methods of finding the mean. So I will be uploading many videos for class 10 and many classes and all the other classes so do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon as well because it will give you the notification